What's up guys, it's AJ, I'm back with another video after, I don't know, two, three years. A couple people told me I should start doing videos again, so I figured why not, this would be the perfect opportunity. So this morning I'm flying from here in Chicago to Columbus, Ohio, and then hour and a half drive outside of Columbus to go pick up a car. I was in Indianapolis for the week for work and just looking for cars to buy and saw it pop up color I'd never seen before. I was like, oh, I need to buy this. So I talked to the seller, got everything set up, bunch of pictures, videos, everything, and seems good enough to uh, go fly out, drive home, and, and see if I make it. It is a legitimate barn find. You'll see when we get there, so hopefully everything's good and I don't break down on the way home. See you there. see the car maybe see a couple other cars maybe we'll buy those so we'll see once we get there and uh, I'm gonna head out and then I, the farm that I just got is uh, three acres or about three miles to the left so made a quick pit stop here at uh, one of his other properties to check out some old vintage bikes he has, some other cars, just you know, see what else there is. Um, he's got some Panhead Harleys, uh, 71 R75 slash 5 BMW bike, um, and a couple other things. He's got a barn there, another one down the hill, a couple cabins. Um, so just wanted to check these out before we go, go get my car and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful view. The weather's amazing. I would love to be out here. Hills, everything. It's amazing. So, we're gonna head back to, uh, I think now to the barn where my car is and uh, go from there. See you soon. She is. This gorgeous, gorgeous barn built in the 1800s. 1850, I believe he said it was. Beautiful car. It's dirty, AJ. Oh, I'm, I'm ready for it. Uh, sorry, you're doing it your way. No worries. Okay, it's nice to meet you. Likewise. You guys, go get, hey, you guys go sit in the car, sit on the trailer, stay away from the road. Well, here she is, 1992 BMW 325i convertible. It's got the hard top, it's got the original wheels. The car is in fantastic shape, 84,000 miles. It's, uh, it's a really, really great shape car. It came out of this barn right here. The barn was built in the, the 1850s. Um, it's just really, really cool find. This one, I found when I was I was in uh, Indianapolis for the week for work. I look on Facebook. I haven't bought something in 
probably two, three months, so I had the itch to buy something. I saw this thing, never seen this this color before. I didn't know it was, was an offered uh, option, so I figured, hey, I gotta have it. The mileage is, is really low. Let me see if you can see that. 84,000 miles. Interior from sitting in the barn, there's a lot of uh, mouse feces, but nothing I can't clean up. First place it's going is uh, is the detail shop to get uh, prettied up, bring this paint paint back to where it should be, and uh, make her run great. Get full inspection at the repair shop. Uh, I'll do the timing belt, water pump, belt tensioner, and a couple gaskets. Is just like almost all E30s. It's got some leaks, especially having sat for some time. So. Yesterday, um, before I had picked it up, I had him put a new battery in it, drain the gas tank of the old fuel, put new fuel in it, um, check all the fluids, change the oil, make sure it was all good for me to drive home, throw the car up and down the road a bit, it's all good to go. And the best thing is, fires right up. Let me show you. Really filthy in here, but nothing that. Uh, a really, really good detail won't fix. And the best part is, fires right up. Runs like a dream. Let's see if I can get the hood open. It was a little sticky. So, let's do this. Pull it back a little. Runs like a champ. Power steering fluid reservoir is leaking a little bit. Brake booster and uh, reservoir are all good. All the fluids are great. Um, some minor oil leaks like from the valve cover, oil pan, stuff like that. Nothing I can't fix. All the lights work. Um, I gotta go through the relays and figure out which one is for the ABS because the light for that is on, which not a big deal. Um, brakes work great. Just, you know, gotta drive it a bit, get everything good to go, and uh, be good. So, what I gotta do next is drive it to a car wash that's a little ways down the road, get all this uh, mouse feces out of here, and uh, get it all cleaned up, ready to drive home. It's about six and a half hours, and go from there. I will uh, give you guys a quick update after I drive it for a bit, and See what happens. Okay, so, meant to give an update earlier, but I got sidetracked with driving. Um, what was originally supposed to be six, six and a half hours, um, turned into about eight, just because the uh, car was sitting so long. There's flat spots in the tires, and uh, the alignment's a little messed up, so, I had to stick right at 55, 60 miles an hour. Otherwise, the steering wheel would shake like crazy and I didn't want to deal with that. So the drive took, uh, took quite some time. Um, wasn't quite ready for that, so I'm exhausted. Last night, I didn't get much sleep, kept waking up. I don't know if I was just nervous, excited or what, but that's that. Um, Right now, I'm just a couple minutes from home. Figured I'd stop and and just give a quick update. Um, things I've found with the car are the alignment, the tires. Um, the ABS light is on. Not a big deal. It's probably just a, uh, probably one of the relays up front because there was one of the fuses for the brake lights broken and another thing. Um, the airbag, I believe there's a loose connection somewhere because I'm, the light is on up here on the control panel and then occasionally on hard bumps it'll shut off but then come back um, one thing I did test out is the heated seats which this one has and they are hotter than 1992 BMW hotter heated seats than my 2013 Porsche was so that's pretty cool I like that um, the right rear, I believe it's the strut mount or the strut itself, is so squeaky. So 
I'm very thankful for the AirPod Pro noise canceling. Helps a ton, made the drive really, really manageable. Um, I will have to tighten down that side of the hardtop as well. Um, I just didn't have the proper size wrench to get in there and get it tightened down all the way. So there was a bit of wind noise. All the windows work, go up and down. Um, cruise control is flawless, all the lights work. Um, and the car did fantastic, didn't skip a beat. So very happy with it. Um, I'm gonna cut the video here. I may pick it back up either tomorrow afternoon or or Sunday because I want to take the car to to the shop, get it detailed, um, at least do the interior, get all the animal feces out of here, um, get it washed, and maybe polish it if I if I have the the energy and motivation to. Because um, next week I will be out of town for work down in Houston so I can leave the car at the shop and get a laundry list of, of service done on it um, get it ready for for spring and ready to drive so I will uh, I'll see you guys either tomorrow or Sunday I will uh, cut the video here and see you then